Scheduling makes it easy to set up and manage shifts for the entire workforce. In this Getting Started guide, we will walk you through the initial setup of schedules, how to add and edit shifts, how to set up email and text alerts, and how to use reports. Finally, we will see how employees can view their schedule. Let's begin by logging in to Exact Time Connect. Before we begin scheduling employees, we first need to make sure it has been enabled. From the dashboard, we will navigate to Manage, then Licensing. Here, you will see that scheduling has been enabled for your account. If you have added scheduling and do not see it enabled here, click the Check for New Licenses button. If you do not currently have scheduling available, please contact your account manager. Now, we need to determine who in our company is going to be given access to add, edit, or to only view schedules. These permissions are controlled by security roles. Navigate to Manage, then Security Roles. First, let's look at the Exact Time Connect security role. Under Administrator, you will see that anybody in this role will, by default, have access to all, that is, add, edit, and view. Should you want to grant employees access to view their schedules online, either adjust the existing employee role or create a new role. Switching to the Exact Time Mobile Security roles, the employees can be granted access to view their schedule directly from their mobile phone in the Exact Time app. Schedules will be managed on the Manage Schedules tab under the Schedules dropdown. You can set your schedules by either location or individual employee. The entire list of active employees can be seen on the left. You can choose the date range of your schedule by adjusting the calendar view. Here is the scheduling grid where you can view, add, and edit shifts. Clicking on any existing shift will give you more details. On the pop-up, you can delete or edit the shift. Let's add a new shift. Click Add Shift. Enter the start date and start time. Enter the stop date and stop time. You can select all day event. If this shift is to repeat daily, choose accordingly. Enter the date this recurring shift will end. Now select the individual employees, the location, and the cost code for the shift. Hit save when done. Email or text notifications can be sent to employees and supervisors to let them know of upcoming shifts, when you're late for a shift, or if there's a no-show. Go to Manage, Company Settings, then click the Schedule tab. You can choose email or text alerts. Enable the type of notification you want to be sent by checking the box and then determine the time threshold of each notification. There are several new reports associated with schedules. Let's go take a look under the Reports tab. Let's choose by employee. Select your desired formatting and options and apply any filters. Click View Report to open the report in another tab. From here, you can print or save the report to your computer in various formats. Depending on how you set up your security roles, there are two ways for employees to view their schedule. Any employee that has been given access to view their schedule on Exact Time Connect can log in with their email and password and go to My Schedule. Employees that can view schedules on Exact Time Mobile will log in using their PIN number. Click on the menu button in the top left and select Schedule. That concludes the introduction to schedules.